Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, I want to show you how to drill a hole uh, in the uh, plexi glass on the RK1 Up. Uh, a lot of people is afraid to drill the hole. Uh, I myself, this is my first time. Uh, when I first time drill the hole, I crack the the plastic because I put it right on top of the the hollow hole. Uh, so when you put pressure on it, uh, this is not very thick. It's pretty thin, so it automatic crack. So as you can see, uh, it cracked the hole right there. Okay. So then I start to realize, okay, first the plexiglass, if you have heat, it will help soften the plastic so it won't crack. Number one theory. Second theory is that uh, a plexiglass have to have a, a more solid uh, hollow, uh, like a wood underneath of it. So that way when you put pressure, it won't crack like this one did. Okay. See how this is cracked uh, right, right there when I put the pressure, it cracked. So then I stop, then I realize, okay, I need to find something, you know, you know, thick. So that's what I did over here. Okay. So now I, I got the, the spinner. I got the spinner from Glenn. I bought two of them. Uh, one is for the 12 in 1 and, and one is for the, let me show the wood doesn't have anything. Well, I'll go when I cut something before I put it on top because I'm gonna put pressure and it might create a mark. So I need to create a two two joystick, one for here and one for over there. And so I, originally I was going to buy the so I'm gonna aim at the same hole that I have right there because the the stuff is gonna be the same. Uh, I'm gonna change it to a smaller one and it seemed like this one fit just right. Uh, I'm not sure what size this is. Let me see. This is oh yeah, uh, 11 by 2, uh, 38 millimeter. And most of the joystick is only 30, uh, 30 mm, and this one is 38 mm. And this is the smallest one I have. Okay, so 11 by 12. Now for the spinner, the perfect size for the spinner, it would be this one. And this one size is for the spinner. Give me one second. All right, focus. Okay, it's 45 mm, so one and three fourth inches. And I like this one because when you run pretty fast, it it make the heat and create the plastic to able to cut better without cracking it. So this is 45 mm, and that's the one I use for spinner for RK1 of 12 in one. So I use that one. So now I need to take this off so I could. Uh, do the reason I use the 12 is because this is to be similar to the one that they have because the, the one they have they did it see the uh, uh, similar size as this one 38 inches see so I figure I might as well stay with the same because I don't want to make it and that since this is the smaller size I have I might as well use this one because it's it's the same size as this one so you could go right through it see that so you could go right through it okay so I'm gonna use the same one that they use to cut this okay probably they use the laser on you know, this it cut pretty well on this one it didn't crack it, it cut pretty well so I'm gonna put the spin on it and put the artwork on it and the artwork I'm just gonna cut around to create those extra hole and this is original is from uh, centipede centipede come with uh, the trackball so I didn't have to cut the wood again so I used the spinner joystick and then created the the 12 in one because I've been waiting for a whole month four weeks already and they they not they uh, was out of stock and I already purchased the I already purchased the uh, the PC PCB board and also I purchased the 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 plastic cover but uh, the 12 and 1, it, it just sit there and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't find, I waited, I waited every day, every morning, every night, I looked into their website and there was none available. So what this one it does, it comes with this extra piece, okay. And I got this one from uh, Home Depot, they have a set that you could buy. And you just put this over, oh, wrong side. You're going to put, I'm sorry, did I miss the recording? 
So what I did is I just put it in and there's a kind of arc, arc shape. So you're gonna push it right through like that. Then you're gonna put this cap on this direction and then you're gonna turn, okay. And you're gonna turn until it's tight, you know, it's, it's just hand tight. All right. So I mark the two hole, one over here. And so my joystick would be this two hole right here. Now the joystick I use is a, uh, it's a little bit smaller because I didn't want to use this drill to drill the hole. So the hole that I drill is not big enough to be uh, the 30 mm. So I use the 28 uh, 28 mm, which is it fine. You know, is it uses regular joystick. So. I guess I could aim at the same hole right there. And then I have this adapter. This is just a regular uh, uh, regular driller. And I set it to, to drill so I have more power. And I add this because this is just a screwdriver drill and I'm using it as a, and in order to, to hold on to the this kind of uh, bit, I, uh, I added this uh, special adapt this adapter. It's also at, at uh, I believe I got this one from uh, Amazon.com, and I'll I'll try, look for it in uh, in the link, and I'll put that in the description. Okay, so you kind of tie it up together. Okay, so you want something that have enough power to be able to drill something. So this one does support drilling, and when I put the cabinet together, I use the one and uh, one, so that way it won't crack any plastic. And when I drill, I use the the drill bit, uh, the speed. All right, let's try this before I speak too much. See if I can successfully do it again without cracking anything. Since this hole is going to be bigger, so it won't be too bad. You know, if it's not exactly the same place. I don't want to put too much pressure to crack anything, but I do want it to go fast. So burn some, it will create some heat to the plastic. And once it goes through it, it will cut through the wood, then I know it's successfully done. I think I already cut through the plastic already. Uh, I believe. So let's let me show. Sound like my drill is running out of battery. There you go. Now it went through the wood. You can hear the sound, the difference. Now you're gonna reverse it, so you won't crack anything. It comes straight back out. Okay. So success. So nothing is is cracked. Good. So I created a hole for the same hole as this one. Uh, can you see? Sorry. So it's the same hole as this one over here. So now I need to do another one. But I have to be careful because I make this hole bigger. So that means I might have to move it up higher because so close to each other, it might crack this. Last time I did one that was too close and it did crack it. So, 
Yeah, that's the problem. I pick, I pick this, pick, I pick this one to draw the hole. But the problem I'm having now. Okay. So see, uh, now I need to take this out. So it's this really no easy way, but just to pop it out like so. Just pop it out. Uh, she got a plier, so easier to pop it out. But I'm probably gonna break it when I pull it out. Okay, this broke is fine because I don't need this piece, I just need to take it out. There you go. Okay, now here's the problem the hole that I drill, uh, I don't like the way this is. This is, uh, I might have to use one of those, uh, the sand metal, one of those metal things to sand it because you can see it's not as smooth as this one did, the cut. Because I noticed that when I was drilling it, it was wobbling. So maybe I didn't tight the bit tight enough. It was kind of wobbling left and right. Okay. So now I have to drill. This is another hole right here. But the problem is too close to this one. So I might have to move it up. But the problem is I already, huh, I already did the wood already. Okay. So let me remeasure this. Take all the other stuff out. Alright, let me try to reset, redo this because I noticed that it was wobbling. And this one you just pulled, pop it in. It's not, not something special. And when you just hold it, it doesn't come out. And this is just put straight on it. You have to turn this to make it wider open. See the head? So you just put this in. Tighten by hand and then you use that thing to tighten it more. Oh, before I put it back in, I need to find out that what's the hole now I need to be so it won't crack the both sides. So don't, now this is the the challenge because part C if you put it too close to each other it will crack if I put it right here with this mark is it's pretty close to it so I'm gonna try it but I'm gonna go ahead and change the power because I feel like the power is not power enough I'm running on battery because I've been using it since yesterday. So let me change out this and I'll be right back. I, normally I would use this kind to drill, but I noticed that last time I drilled the plexiglass, I crack it because it doesn't have enough teeth to go around fast enough to, to uh, build heat on the plexi. Because when you build heat around it, it will smoothly. I wonder if I could go over this with this. Or maybe I have to do it one more time. Because I, I don't like the way that it's not... It's kind of like... Uh, it's not very smooth on this side. Hmm. It's not very smooth. I wonder if I could... Uh, we do that hole again later. Okay, so let me put this back on. So I need to turn this on. Oh, wrong direction. Let me see if I put it more close to it so it won't wobble so much. I think last time I put it too far up. So when I was cutting it, it was wobbling. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this battery back in. So I'm just using a regular 
home tool you know nothing fancy but trying to do the same exact work I know I could take it to a shop that have the laser thing to do it but then I have to measure everything for them to do it otherwise they say oh no you know we need you to measure it better so the hole is right here and based on this mark it's going to be doggone close to this so I'm going to use that same hole I'm going to try to since I already have a shape well this is the shape of this one this one is not as big as that so uh, I'm going to move it down a little bit but you know what I'm not going to use this thing here because that might not that might, might that might be the reason it's wobbling because you didn't catch a wood and so the plastic was wobbling like crazy so that shouldn't be too bad can y'all see all that <sighs> okay so it's pretty close but not too too bad so I'm gonna try it all right It's not wobbling as much as last time. It's going to the wood already. I want it one little bit longer because I don't want the side to be like the other one kind of kind of like a uh, not smooth all right let me pop this reverse direction all right good beautiful okay All right, so I got my two extra joystick hole, and there's gonna be a paper underneath, and there's the joystick gonna be on top, so should be okay. This one I'm gonna do try again, so it won't be so rough. So you can eight, put it in the same spot. See if I can go over it again with this. Okay, there's a plastic in there. I need to take it out before I do that. It's gonna be tough. This thing is kind of hot right now, but that's good. And that help the drill bit. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put it right on top because anyway, it's pretty, pretty inside anyway. I'm just trying to shape up the corner a little bit. So let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, it looked like the wobbling because I. I didn't tie it close to the drill, it wobbled, so this hole is much bigger than that hole. I don't think it's going to make any better. Yeah, it's just taking out my paint out of my arm. But yeah, it's a little bit better. Not as bad as the previously. Okay. So, hole successful. I'm using one of this uh, that helped me, you know, cut the wood stuff. It's made for wood, but I figure if I spin fast enough, better than sandpaper <laughs> it might smooth a little bit but anyway my hand is not going to be on top of the hole I mean it's going to be on top but not inside so I, it's okay you know <sighs> all right so let's we're going to go put it on the, the system and see how it go all 
all right so it's good all right this hole is, is perfect match this this one is not but it's okay because they are the same way anyway as long as it, it doesn't uh as long as plaque is covering you know, is protecting something okay so what i need is uh two two of the 28 and please pop it in it's 28 millimeter and i didn't have to like draw the hole wider so it, it work and then then uh the track ball is going to be going here and the spinner will be here okay so that would be uh pretty good so this would be my uh what well, it won't be on my centipede uh, uh, cabinet it will be on the asteroid because the the 12 in one it does not it does not like uh, when the screen is uh, vertical you have to be horizontal so so it won't work on the centipede but I use the centipede uh, controller because it already have a, a trackball and I don't want to drill you know special special stuff on it all right so this video is mainly to show you how to drill the plexiglass and to those, those of you who are interesting or wondering how to do it uh, this is my my oops sorry this is my technique this is how I did it and uh, hopefully that will help you guys so it looked like this and then the reason I cut it the way this is because I bought one for 12 in one and this is what it looked like okay the 12 in one and they have the two hole on this side so uh, the spinner is in the exact same same spot it's just the way the rest of the hole does not match up because it's made for the 12 track ball is more toward this side instead of this side and the track ball is over here so but this is the closest one uh that i did to make it work but without using without using the the plexiglass that come with it and the, the artwork so this is just gonna sit in the closet and so uh and the spinner that i use for that i try to fix it doesn't do a very good job so that's why i went and bought i went and bought two of this one is for the raspberry pi one for, uh, for this one one. All right, hope this helped you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.